part are you playing? Uh, I play Rapunzel. Um, the witch. Okay. Can you please explain the character in the show? Who are they and what do they want? Um, my character seems simple, but it isn't really. She, she's been locked in a tower all her life, so she doesn't really know much about the outside. She seems very shy, but there's a lot of emotion in there that she hasn't been able to express because she's only been talking to her mother. Um, so she's kind of not very smart because she just hasn't been out there. She's just been in her tower, everything's perfect little world. So as time progresses, her character does develop learn a lot. My character, um, she wants to be beautiful and she doesn't really realize that the cost of everything she wants and I find that even though she's evil, she she's like a typical mother trying to do best for her daughter even though she doesn't really seem like it. What about the musical do you think will be most shocking or surprising without giving away the, uh, the ending? Um, I think just that it's like, it's like not your average fairy tale. It's very different. And I think that's what makes it unique and cool. That's I think how they all connect is really surprising because you wouldn't really think about that because you're just used to seeing them as separate things. So. Yeah. If you could tell the audience one thing before they see the show, what would it be? Probably that, I don't know, it's a very complex storyline and I think that's what makes it interesting. Just seeing, like, like I said, just how they like connect and how they eventually meet each other and how their stories just like fold together to make this big one story. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, and how not every story has the ending that you would expect to keep an open mind about it. How has the rehearsal process been? Um, very fun. <laughs> We've had some very fun times. Um, it has been a constant, which sometimes it's tiring, but now just to see how the show has come together, it's like really amazing to see that because of like all this rehearsal, we've gotten like this much done, and it's really amazing. I like the um, rehearsal process. I love staying after and working on it and seeing everyone just working together to get better. Good. Uh, let's see. Um, what has been the best part about being involved in this production? Um, for me personally, I just find it like I get to bond with like more people that I usually wouldn't talk to normally in a school day. Like I get to meet with them and talk and bond. Like with Olivia, we get to talk and we like just chill after school. It's really fun. I like um, usually I'm more shy in drama class every other day, but when acting, you get to be more of yourself and a little bit of your character all in one. Good. Uh, do you think the lessons learned are still relevant today, even though they're from fairy tales? Definitely, I think so. I think the lessons are very good lessons that will affect your life in the long run, well, they're just good lessons to keep in mind. Yeah, definitely. It's like, yeah, you need to know these lessons because, like, you're going to know them for the rest of your life. It's not just, like, once in a once. <laughs> All right. Why did you get involved in the show? Um, I got involved because I just... I thought it was cool because I don't take drama class, I take band class, so this was just like a chance where I could um, just like have an opportunity to do both things and participate in both. And I just thought, I've always loved acting and I just thought this was a cool opportunity to try out and I was happy. I just love acting in general and so happy that I'm in this play because I finally get to really show people what I have because I'm used to having a supporting lead and now I actually have a main lead so it's nice. Last question, how has drama helped you? Um, for me, 
It's like I'm like a really shy person. Just like I'm just very shy and not very outspoken. And like drama has helped me to like more like break out of that shell and just like be more myself. Because when you're on stage, they you know they tell us you know improv, put your own little like spice into the character. Like all oh, and like a lot of times I'll just do something and they'll be like, oh that's a good idea. And so now I'm not as shy anymore. It's helped me just to be more myself. Drama has helped me sort of realize that you don't have to be quiet to show that uh, you're important and if you're really loud, it's nice. <laughs> So that I'm so like a build up. I'm so happy to whoa. Please come from you. You get it? Can we do the whoa 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 from you? Even I'm so happy and yeah, then let's just go on. Whoa. Let's just do a little happy. And then continue with the lines after that, okay? Yeah. You don't have to yes. Ready guys? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. What are you playing? And explain your character on the show. Who are they and what do they want? So I'm playing Little Red Riding Hood in Into the Woods. And she's kind of just a little bratty girl who gets what she wants and wants it like right on the spot. And she wants to get to her grandmother's house. I'm playing the wolf. And as the wolf, I want to eat Little Red Riding Hood. And my character is sneaky and tricky. I'm playing Cinderella. And she's kind of like learning how reality is, I guess. And she wants to go to the festival. All right, good. Gia, how do you think your character is different than the uh, characters from children's books? Um, I think my character is different from like regular characters that you usually read about in storybooks is because she's not really um, she's not really a sincere character. She's not lovey dovey character. She's kind of just like very blunt and very brutal. She's kind of a brat. Good. Wow. Uh, let's see. Um, wait a minute. And Sophia. Uh, what about your character? How's it different than uh, the typical Cinderella you see? Um, she's kind of like more realistic. It, it isn't all that happy ending. It's kind of more of a realistic kind of the struggles of life type of character. Good. Uh, so what about this musical do you think will be most shocking or surprising? Um, I... Wait, who do you want to go? Oh, go ahead, you. Um, what I think is going to be most surprising and shocking with this musical is because it's not really going to end up like a normal fairy tale would. It's not going to be all planned out. There's going to be twists and turns along the way. There's going to be a lot of plot twists, and the ending is not what you expect it to be at all. I think that. <laughs> what they said? Okay. Good. Next. Uh... How has the rehearsal process been? Um, I think the rehearsal process has been, for the most part, really fun. It's a lot of hard work and um, a lot of repetitive things that we need to do each practice, but we know that in the end it's going to pay off because we're going to have a good show. There's been some ups and downs in the process, mostly ups, but it's been a little hard because some people don't like to show up. Yeah. It's stressful. But it's a lot of fun because like you have a lot of pressure on you to remember your lines and to know how your character is. It's kind of like there's two people in one. If you could tell the audience one thing before they see the show, what would it be? I think I would tell the audience to wipe their memory of what they think of the regular storybook characters because Into the Woods isn't really your typical fairy tale for be ready. That's, yeah, yeah it, it's not going to end up how you think it's going to end up. What has been the best part about being involved in this production? Why don't we start on this side? So, Well, 
a lot of it. I mean, a lot of us started off with a lot of stage, right? And we weren't really okay with being ourselves in front of people. And this kind of like opens you up to the world. A lot of us started off not knowing each other. And now we're really close friends with the full clap cast. Do you think lessons learned in the fairy tales are still relevant today? And why don't we start in the middle? Yeah, I think the lessons that the characters learn in the story are still lessons people in real life learn today, and you'll see. Because um, a lot of characters in the play represent people in real life, people's personalities and things like that, so I think if you can really relate yourself to one character, it helps with the whole moral and message of the play. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Comes a lot back down to you. Why did you get involved in the show? Um, well, we all kind of had to audition. We, yeah. <laughs> and then we went through a series of acting in front of people, and you kind of get more comfortable with the stage. And eventually, if you do get cast as your character, you kind of draw, it's kind of like a relationship between you and your character now, so you just kind of become more open with everyone. I started, um, me and my friends were in all the drama plays since the beginning of sixth grade, so now we decided to do it again this year. We've become more involved with it. I think it's like kind of, once you do one play, you kind of need to like keep doing them because you get used yeah. to it, and even though the process is really difficult and really hard, I think it pays off in the end when you know everything that you need to know. How has drama helped you? I think drama has helped me kind of come out of my shell a little bit because I'm not really afraid to speak my mind and speak up to people and I'm not afraid to like do anything in front of that all. <laughs> drama has helped me because on the stage I can be however crazy or weird I want to be without being judged. So yeah, that's kind of what I meant. <laughs> um, I was never early social. I mean, I, I kind of stayed in my own little circle of friends, so this made me, I mean, I feel more confident. I'll care for him when he's old. Ariella, what part are you playing? And explain your character. Who are, who are they and what do they want in the show? I play a stepsister and what I want in the show is for the prince, for my foot to put the slipper and the prince to be mine. Is it about? What is it? The same, same thing? My, I'm, the step, I'm another stepsister and I want the same thing she does for the prince. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, what about the musical do you think is most surprising? Why don't you go, Isabella? Oh, oh, that um, that there's more than one fairy tale in the thing, in the play. Yeah. Okay. Good. Are we on? Yeah, that's my stick, you know. Yeah. That all the fairy tales are like it's like clashed into one. Like, sure. What are some of the fairy tales that are in it? Um, Cinderella. Red Riding Hood, Jack and the Beanstalk, and I forget. <laughs> Rapunzel. Oh. All right. So, how has the rehearsal process been? It's tiring. Yeah, but it all comes down to the show. What's tiring about it? That we had to stay here at 4:30 <laughs> after a long school day, and that on Fridays we had to stay till five. After a long <laughs> Anything to add to that, Ariel? It's fun, though, to be with everyone. <laughs> so if you could tell the audience one thing before they see the show, what would it be? Um, there's a lot of plot twists. It's really good. You should watch it. So do you think the lessons learned are still relevant today, even though they're fairy tales? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't Cinderella. know. Cinderella? Yeah. I mean, don't ever, like, 
opportunity is a lengthy visitor. <laughs> Um, yeah, like people follow that, I guess. People what? Follow it, like people, I don't know, like that happens in real life. Opportunity well, only comes. Opportunity like, don't, but like, I mean opportunity is a lengthy visitor. Comes yeah. in real life. Because opportunity is a lengthy <laughs> visitor. Alrighty. Um, why did you get involved in the show? Because I like singing and acting. Because I like being in front of people. <laughs> I like being center attention. Yeah. <laughs> now I remember last year you weren't so comfortable. You feel much more comfortable this year? Yeah, and I guess it's my last year in eighth grade, so. Good. Uh, so, how has drama helped you? I made new friends. More open. What do you mean, more open? Like, I don't know. Like, in sixth grade, I was really shy. What part are you playing? And explain your character. Who are they, and uh, what do they want in the play? Uh, I play the baker, and he wants to have a child since he can't have a child. So he has to get a red cake, uh, cow's white milk, and uh, golden silver. I'm the baker's wife, and along with what he wants, I want a child as well, and we need to get the same exact thing. So you need those things to make uh, so that you can have a child. Yeah, yeah to make a potion for the witch. Ah, okay. Um, so what about this musical do you think will be most shocking or surprising to the audience? Um, I'd say like the like amount of people in it, like that are involved like with each individual character. Like say there's like Cinderella, she has like a steward and a royal family and all of that. I say how um, how a lot of characters are incorporated within the song. So how's the rehearsal process been? Um, long. It's long, but it's fun. It's really fun since we have uh, a lot of our friends in the in the play. So it's, it's alright. Yeah, because we're surrounded like by people that we're like very close with, so it adds on to the process. Do you feel like you were close with them at the beginning of the play? Have you gotten closer? Uh, we've gotten closer. Like, yeah, like over the period of time that we've been rehearsing, I feel like we've gotten closer with certain people. If you could tell the audience one thing before they see the show, what would it be? A lot of plot twists. Yes, lots of plot twists. Um, just like, it's a show that will keep you like at the edge of your seat at times, because it goes from like being calm and happy to like a dramatic and dark scene. So, watch out for that. Um, what's the best part about being involved in the production? Um, just learning new things and yeah. just being surrounded by the people you like and having fun just doing the show. Yeah, it's like it's like a new experience because like we're middle school kids and to be doing like a show this advanced at our age level, it's like mind blowing because we get to do it and like be a part of the process. So you feel like this is a hard show? It's it's not hard, but like for kids our age because we're like. We're like 13, 14 ish. Like it seems like a show like for more like older people, so it's like hard to grasp like your mind around it. You mean the plot or like the singing? The, like, the... Mm, mostly everything. Yeah, like everything. It's not like difficult, but it's just like a more advanced task. Do you think the lessons learned are still relevant today, even though they're fairy tales? Yeah, like. Um, one of the main things is like not to be greedy because all of our characters have something that we want and we do a certain amount of things to get what we want so like in, in the show it shows like not to be greedy. I can carry on in life. Yes. Um, some things are not what they seem like you will meet some people that hmm, I don't really know. Same. That's all right. That's okay. Um, 
Why did you get involved in the show? I really, because last year she sh uh, she showed us this um, the movie, well, the play version of this on Broadway, and I really liked it, so I just decided to be in the show. It seems like fun. It is fun, but when we watched it, it seemed like it was like something that'll keep us busy too, because I don't like being bored. So. And last question. Uh, so, how has this or drama helped you? Um, for me, it helped me because I'm terrible at reading. Like, I stutter a lot, and so with being with Mr. Benedetto, we do certain things that help our our speech. So, yeah, yeah expands, our, expands my vocabulary too, because there's some words in there that I don't really know. Uh, for me, like when we before we started the show, I was really like shy and quiet. But ever since the show, like with Miss Minissi, and she's like an outgoing person, just being around people like that made me come out of my shell a little more. Um, and it's helping, like, um, like during school too, because like I would never like speak before, and now I'm always talking to people and like talking to more people. Yeah. Good. Anything else you want to tell us? Mom. Good. April fifteenth and sixteenth. What part are you playing? And then please explain your character. Who are they and what do you want? Okay, um, my name's Mary and I play the giant and the baby. Um, my character, the giant, wants revenge uh, because um, something happened to her husband at, involving one of the other characters, so she wants revenge. And my name's Allie and I'm playing Sleeping Beauty and she wants her happily ever after. All right, next. Um, what about the musical do you think is most shocking or surprising without giving away the ending? Um, the most shocking thing about the show is how the characters change throughout it. Like at the beginning, they're different than who they are at the end. Yeah, I think um, I have the same opinion as her. I think that um, the audience is in for a surprise and a shock because um, things at the beginning might seem a certain way and then it might change towards the end. So what's the rehearsal process been like? Um, it's been uh, different. Um, it's very a very long process but um, I, in the end it'll all be worth it because um, we want um, other people outside our school to um, see what um, that we all, we have talent and we can, um, that we have something to give. Agreed. Agreed, okay. All right, so if you could tell the audience one thing before they see the show, what would it be? Don't make conclusions, like don't jump to conclusions, because everything changes throughout the show. Yeah. You agree? Yes. <laughs> All right, uh, so what's the best part of being involved in the production for you? Um, I think that um, the best part is being in a group and it, uh, we're all gathered together um, to make something big and beneficial for other people in our community. And I think that um, we're very, we're happy with what we, we work really hard for, um, to, uh, for this show. And we think that um, it'll um, light up somebody's day because they can relate to the show. You're agreeing? Yeah. So I'm going to go back to something you said, and you can answer as well. So uh, so how do you feel like this benefits the, the community? Well, I think that um, uh, well, they can, the show is very realistic in a way, and people can relate to it and see that they're not the only people going through what they're going through. And I think that will make them feel better. 
And it relays messages so like it can teach you things throughout and that could help people out too. So if the character so if it's fairy tales, how is it realistic? Well each fairy tale that's in it has a moral to the story and with them all combined in it, that's just like there's probably like ten morals and throughout the whole entire two hours show that people can learn from or like that can stick with them. So what's the best part of being involved in the production? For you? I think being in the show, like in general, this the show because it's like one of my favorite plays. Like I've well, we've watched it so much in drama and just the best part is just being a part of it. Yeah, I think that um, um, because of this production, um, I think that meeting other people has been um, great. Um, and um, having been part of something and really working hard on something and um, putting all my all into it and I think that um, that's, that makes me feel good because I'm giving off to people. Uh, let's see. So why did you get involved in the show? Um, I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and I think that drama will um, help me with that. That's the same with me. I'm, I'm, I wasn't really comfortable on stage before and then I knew that I had to like get my confidence up and I'm way more confident than I was. And, like Being in shows, that just makes me, it makes me feel comfortable on stage. You feel like that's important? And um, I, I like to, um, <clears throat> I like seeing um, what other people's friends are like, and I think that playing a different character would help me see through their eyes and how they view the world. Why is that important? Because there are many different views, and sometimes you have to consider that not everybody sees the world the same. So you feel like that's... Uh That'll help you in the future? Yeah. You can learn through another character's eyes. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Um, no. Just that uh, the audience will be in for a surprise. Did you get this? Did you get it? Okay. No, go back. All right. So, why don't you tell me your names? and uh, what character you play, and tell us about your character. Who are they, and what do they want in the play? Hey, what are uh, My name is Yassin, and um, I'm playing as Cinderella, I mean, no, Rapunzel's <laughs> prince, and all I want pretty much is Rapunzel to be my princess. Okay. I'm Jenna, and I'm playing Granny, and I guess I want to kill the wolf that attacked me and Little Red. Um, my name's Chris, I'm Cinderella's prince. Um, I basically want the same thing as if I want a maiden named for Cinderella. Good. Okay. Um, so, what about this musical do you think is going to be the uh, most surprising or shocking to the audience? Uh, there's a lot more overlapping in the singing than usual. It's not really something that's in our plays a lot. Like, during the singing, there's going to be a lot of overlapping that uh, we usually see in usual, most of the shows. Uh, yeah, it's a very different show. Like, it's not something you would see every day. Why? So, like, I don't know. We just yeah, most people are used to seeing like Disney and stuff like that, and then there's this show. It's completely different. Oh uh, well, there's like a lot of confusion, so you have to listen carefully to everything everyone says and pay attention to it. So what is uh what what makes this not Disney? Because Any of you can answer. What well, makes us not Disney? It, it is. Dies in Disney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of, well, not like, they don't, no, you no don't see them get killed and stuff. Like, it's, like at Disney, you don't stab someone. It's just <laughs> so people die in this one? Yeah, yeah, people die in this one. There's a lot of surprises in it. Sorry. Right. All right. Uh, so. How so? How has like the rehearsal process been for you personally? Uh, stressing, sort of, a lot of hard work. Uh, I think the rehearsal process has been all right. I mean, there's definitely a lot of work that you got put into it, so there's that. Yeah, it's like it's like fun, but it's hard work at the same time. Like being here on time, being here for every rehearsal, getting everything done, memorizing your lines and stuff. It's tough. Looks stressful. 
like learning new ones and making sure you don't forget them. And stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. Because it's a hard show. What makes it a hard show? Well, it's pretty much like the longest show that we've done so far. It's pretty much like the longest one. It's got two parts. It's it's a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. What about the singing? Has the singing been hard? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about it? What, what, what's the hardest part of the singing for the show? Hitting high notes. Yeah, hitting high notes, overlapping, knowing when to go. Right, so you said there's a lot of over. both of you said there's a lot of overlapping. Yeah. Has that been tough to, to, to work that out? Yeah, it's yeah. a little hard because, you know, it's like, da, 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 wait, what? So it's like yeah, it's, a lot. it's like you get caught up and you want to say what the other person's saying, but you, it's confusing. So is it getting better? It's getting easier as we go along, but like when we first tried, yeah. none of us could do it. Good. So if you could tell the audience one thing before they saw the show, what should they know? Keep their eyes open. Yeah, pay attention, because like if you don't, like you said, if you don't listen to what everyone says carefully, then you won't understand. Yeah, you'll be lost. So does that put a lot of pressure on you if you know the audience has to really understand what you're saying? Not really, because we just have to do what we've been practicing. If they don't get it, that's their fault. <laughs> it is your fault. Pay attention. Okay. Uh, let's see. So what's been the best part about being involved in the production? Uh, basically, we get to do a good job of entertaining all the people that try to see this stuff. Because we're like the SBA, we're like the drama kids. we got to do the right stuff for the drama to represent the school. Yeah, it's a fun way to entertain school. everybody. It's fun. The being with the cast is fun. It's just nice being in a show. Yeah. The same. Fun, just like yeah. um, so, do you think the lessons learned are still relevant today, even though they're fairy tales? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. And why? Um, well, it, there's like certain parts they say, like sayings. Yeah, like, like some people, people have different from. quotes, and then like, yeah, some of the quotes like make sense in like everyday life. Uh, why did you get involved in the show? Oh, because... We were kind of forced to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow! I'm in drama. You're being against our <laughs> And Ms. M uh, our teacher, Miss Manis, she said that she better see me try for a role, a main role. So I yeah. had to. She but said, like... I didn't mind, so I did it. But why do you think she said that to you? She thinks we're talented. Am I the only one who did it because he wanted to? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Yeah, well, she like said, if you want to be in drama, you have to audition, so we auditioned, and it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. So is this the first time we've both been in a production? No. Mm -hmm. I've been here since seventh grade. Okay. All right, good. Uh, so, do you regret that you auditioned now? No. No, actually. No. It's, it's a fine process, but it's fine. So maybe it was a good push? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, go ahead. Oh, I was just clearing my <laughs> Oh. Uh, so, last question. Um, how has drama helped you? It taught me how to work, to work well together with my peers. Let's see, um, I don't know. Let's everybody bring out their silly side. Let's just, like, let loose. Yeah. And it also taught me to hit higher notes than I could before. Yeah. It's fun. It's just fun. <laughs> Good. Anything else you want to tell anyone about the show? Uh, Are you soft? Get yeah, ready. Come see it and be prepared. Be prepared for surprises. Bring the family. In this particular situation, do not fear over going overstepping someone, mainly because the everything needs to line up together musically. If I take it, I can take a few extra beats to do. It'll be tough with the band to take a few extra beats to do. Easier than one at a time. Uh, tell me your name, what your character is, and uh, any, if they have any motive in the uh, play. Hello, my name is Diego Hernandez, and I play the role of the steward. My motive is um, to help the prince to find Cinderella. Yeah. Um, I'm Chuck, and my role is Cinderella's dead mother that came from a tree. And I sort of just help her get her outfit for the, the, the ball. Uh, my name is Charlie, I'm Cinderella's father, and my motive is to go to the festival. Good, okay. 
so what about this musical do you think is most surprising for someone that would come to see it? Let me start with you. Um, I think that what happens in between parts would be surprising. Um, I think that everybody has to like work together to know their like lyrics and the music. And it's hard because everybody like overlaps each other. I think the surprising thing is it's not like your stereotypical fairy tales. They are, but there's a twist to it because at the end, it doesn't end happily ever after. So there's like two parts to it. Okay. Do you want to tell me more about how it's not the typical uh, fairy tale? Well, I think because like Little Red, she like changes throughout the story. And Cinderella really doesn't, like, she gets what she wants, but then it all changes. Good. Uh, so how has the rehearsal process been for you? It's been fun because um, we get time to practice our lines and we spend time with our friends and, and, and we like, we're like a cast and we're like families. Um, I, I think it's pretty really chaotic because the teachers, they're like yelling at people to like go places but it's really really fun to like see what the, the characters say in like their lines are like hilarious. I uh, I actually think it's fun because we get to sit around and do stuff after school that you wouldn't get to do otherwise. Like what? Um acting and having fun. Okay. Good. Um let's see. If you could tell the audience one thing, someone who hadn't seen the show, um, what would you tell them? Uh, I'd tell them to bring a bottle of water because it's a really long show. <laughs> well, just prepare for what's coming because it's very surprising. And pay attention to the lines because they're very important in the, in the story. Do you think that puts a lot of pressure on the cast? That knowing the lines are so important for the audience, do you feel like that kind of puts pressure on you guys to to uh, really hit it? Yes, because we have to like over articulate so the audience can listen to what we're saying. Um, so what has been the best part of being involved in the production? Uh, I think the best part has to be like working together and everybody like coming together. They're not like shy if like one person is like married to another person in the show. They like they work together and everything's like going together. Um, I like that I liked about seeing the whole set come together because it makes me think about what the play is going to look like when we're performing it in front of the audience. And I like seeing how the teachers block the, the scenes. They're like really nice how they do it. That's what I like. Were you surprised when you first saw the set, or the, at least the frame of the set? Yeah, very. Yeah. Did you get to go up there? Not in the tower, because that's all. only Rapunzel. Why did you get involved in the show? Chuck, why don't you start? Oh, okay. Um, because I like really like acting, acting, and maybe I, I could become like an actor when I grow up. Maybe not. So I agree with her. I like acting, and it's just like really fun to act in front of, of an audience. Uh, I got involved with the play because I, I just wanted to see what it was like to be in the play. Good. Um, so do you think that some of the fairy tales, some of the lessons learned in some of the fairy tales is relevant today? Yes, because um, it, it teaches the, the characters what they went through. And that actually like have, relates to like real life here because some people actually like can relate to the problem that they had. I agree with her because um, there's like Little Red Riding Hood. Her lesson is not to be greedy, and there's like people in the world that are greedy and they want more and more. That's bad. To make them uh, yeah, I think that the lessons do stay because. Um, you can learn what could happen if you use power wrong, like they do in the play. Good. Um, last one. So, uh, how has being in this production or being in drama helped you? 
Well, it helped me musically, probably, because everybody like knows what how, how their character is supposed to sing. And we learned high notes and low notes for like the, each of the characters. Uh, it helped me creatively because it, could, uh, it made me think about more things. It helped me on like my acting. Um, yeah. It helped me on acting, and I like acting because that's fun. Because you're you're um, uh, playing a character that you don't like. You might not relate to that character, or you might. So that's the fun. So do you feel like playing the characters has kind of pushed you to uh, think in new ways? Yeah. I think differently based on the character. So what about the singing? So, um, so have you ever sang anything like this before? No. So what's different about this? this Every this? everybody like overlaps each other, and you have to like focus on your part and not like mess up mess up with the others. So that I find that pretty challenging, but we like got the right. Feel like uh, feel like you're starting starting to come together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything you want to say uh, to people that are come into the show or might see this uh, this little bit of a video here come see the show Alright, so why don't we start there and you can tell me your name and what character you play and are, does your character have any, uh, what do they want out of the play, your character? Okay, uh, I'm David Diaz and I'm the narrator in the show. I and my character, he like looks to see an interesting point in the story to see, to get, to tell the moral to the audience. Oh, um, my name is uh, Joshua D'Almeida, and I play the cow in the show, and um, I'm one of uh, Jack's best friends, and everyone loves me. Wait a minute, one of Jack's best friends is a cow? Yeah, yeah. he's a weirdo. The cow or Jack? No, Jack. Well, both of them. So how do you, how do you interact with Jack? Um, he just pets me, and yeah, we, he just talks to me now. I just look at him. Weird. Oh, okay, good. All right. Um, so that kind of leads me to the next question. So what, what's uh, so for someone that's seeing this um, play for the first time, what's going to be shocking or surprising? Probably the the probably like the sections in the story because there's many like twists and turns in the story. What do you mean by sections? I mean like there's like many parts in the story, like many scenes, and each scene has one twist in it. That's shock. That might be shocking. Um, I think the the songs they have like a huge meaning in this play, especially, and that's where the twist come in inside the songs. Oh, really? Inside the songs, the twist. Most come? of them, most of them, yeah. And some of them don't have a lot of songs, some of the scenes, but most of them do. Good. All right. So, um, so what's what's it been like uh, rehearsing for the play? Uh, pretty good. I, I like the um, like the time of the day after school. I like the way that it's like always 4:30 and not a little bit late. Cause some people might have like stuff to do after like 4:30, and I, I like that. And it's fun. What's fun about it? Uh, it's like interesting. It's like Miss Manisian's really funny, and it's fun to interact with people in the show. Good. Um, I think it's been fine. Perfect timing in the day because my mom gets out at four. She works in East Boston, so it's kind of fine, and it is fun, so. I feel like you need to be kept busy? Yeah. There's nowhere else to go. So. Good. Uh, let's see. If you could tell the audience one thing before they show, see the show, what would it be? One thing before That um, you're going to get a big surprise. There's going to be many surprises in the show that they won't um, realize. Uh, same thing, basically, that you're going to be surprised on how much we have to say and 
how much and how many like twists there are, and it's going to be fun. So what's been the best part of being involved in the production? If you had to pick like a favorite thing. Uh, I think probably hanging out with the people and working with all the people that's on the show. Were you friends with uh, most of the people in the cast before the show or? Um, no, no, I didn't no, know, I don't know, none of the eighth graders or some of them and now they're like cool to me. I are knew they, like five people before. Yeah. Any. Are the eighth graders as scary as they were? When you didn't know him? No one's nope. great to me at all. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, so, uh, what lessons do you think um, people could learn from the fairy tales? If the, do you think the fairy tales are still relevant today? Um, prob probably like the witch's part a little bit. That the witch gets involved with like Jack and the baker and the baker's wife and the cow. Like, uh, I think Jack's part because there's some kids that are just known to be kind of awkward and they don't really have much friends and they like make a friend with like their pet or something and they are always happy and sometimes they listen to their mom because not in this occasion but Pro yeah like in Jack's party like steal stuff from the giant there's always like a consequence so um, so why did you decide to get involved with the show? I thought it was interesting because um, I wasn't, I didn't start in drama, I started like in journalism and I saw like, one, I, I looked on YouTube and some of the plays that they were doing and I actually thought it was interesting so I joined and it's actually been fun throughout the days. Uh, I wanted to like learn about the play and all that and I wanted to know more about the, the characters in this show once they told me who the characters were and I also wanted to know the people in the cast. Good. Uh, so, um, last question. How has drama helped you? How, how has, this, has this helped you at all? Um, probably in acting and singing and stuff. Because we practice that a lot. Um, the stories that they tell, it, it, has, it always has a moral and it always teaches me something new every day. Have you taken what you've learned and made you think about situations you're in? Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Come, Come to the to show. The show. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. So why don't we start with you, Petrina? Uh, tell me your name, what character you play, and uh, what would be what motives the character has in the play. My name is Petrina. I play Jack's mother, and I want Jack's mother wants my son to not be stupid. Uh, uh, my name is Justin. I play the mysterious man, and my uh, what I want is for my the family curse to be broken. Okay, good. Alrighty, next question. Um, so, for someone that's never seen the show, what are they gonna? Is there anything that's gonna be surprising or shocking for them? Uh, how they put, how the different stories come together. I think that might be yeah. surprising. What do you mean by stories? Okay, you have the Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf Granny. You have the Baker, the Baker's wife. Uh, Jack and the Yeah, Jack and Beanstalk. Uh, Cinderella. Rapunzel. So what do you mean? How how are they put together? What do you mean? Because so, like each story, like one one part of the story can go to a different type of story. So. And they all fit in the end. Good. Um, so so for someone that's never seen the show before and they're coming to see it for the first time, what what should they know? Or what should they know to do? I think they should know that they shouldn't always expect the. Old, uh, the old stories that they learned because it's different. It's different plots. Some things are changed and re rearranged. And when you're watching it, you need to hear everything because if you miss something, you're not gonna get 
what happened at the end. Okay. Does that put a lot of pressure on you, since you know the audience needs to hear everything? Yes. So how are you, what are you going to do to make sure the audience can uh, hear you? You have yeah. to and over-articulate. Over-articulate. What does that mean? Make your words more. You have to pronounce, like, like your certain vowels have to be like perfect, like like your T's have to be. Give me an example. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five. Like it has to be like. Okay. Good. Good. Um, so how's the rehearsal process been? It's very long. Um, it's if you forget a line during rehearsal. It can mess you up during the show, and if you skip a line during the show, uh, it, messes it messes other people up, and it messes up the rhythm of the show. So at rehearsal, you have to pay attention, you have to know your cues, you have to know when to come out. You have to memorize all your lines. I know that there's a lot of lines that you have to memorize, but you have to know one. Yeah. And yeah. it's very tiring. Very tiring. What do you mean by the rhythm of the show? Um, so the music played to the show, it, goes with the words. So if you mess up a word, it might mess up the music and, it, and it, it, they go together. So if you mess one up, the other one. If for now we only have the piano and other instruments are coming in, so if they if we mess up, they're not going to know to keep going, like the piano teacher. Good. Um, so let's talk about the, the, so the fairy tales. Do you think the lessons learned from the fairy tales um, are relevant to the audience? Uh, Red Riding Hoods, the mor moral to Red Riding Hood is still in there. Uh, always like keep going, don't get distracted. Um, and the other morals of the stories are in there, yes. Oh. I think nothing to add? No. Um, so what's been the best part of being involved in the production? You get to be something that you're usually not, so if you are a person that really doesn't like to speak a lot in the show, you get to be outgoing, you get to get out of your show, you get to do things that you don't usually do. Like, I'm the mysterious man, I get to creep around. I don't do that in school, but I get to creep around in the show. So you're not a creepy person usually? No. no. And I have to yell all the time, I don't really yell. I don't know. So I have to be British. You have to be British? Yeah. So you're both finding that you're being something that you're not usually? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, how is that helpful? I mean, do you think that's useful? Um, it depends on what you want, like what your career is. If you want to be like an actor, then it helps a lot. And if it's something that you don't have to be British or creepy for, then it doesn't help. But, you know. Why did you get involved in the show? It's fun. Uh, after you do one show, I did it in seventh grade. I, I liked it. I liked the process, so I did it again. Yeah, it's very fun. What do you mean by the process? Uh, the process of rehearsal, uh, getting your lines, the props, uh, you having to work together with people because uh, sometimes people would mess up lines last year, and we figured out how to like help each other. So that like. It takes some of the pressure off, so it allows it, it made it more fun. Like I didn't put so much pressure on me, so you know, more fun. That's right. So you feel like everyone helped each other to the point where it really took the pressure off of each other. Yes. And how did you do that? So if someone was messing up, how did you help them out? Improv. Yeah. Improv. Yeah. So if you messed up a line, we kind of hint them towards it or try to get them back on track. Did or, you find that you have to do that last year? Yes, we had to. Yeah, sometimes people would uh, miss up, miss a line, or cut someone off, so we'd have to keep going and like m make it so that the audience wouldn't know because they don't know our lines. So if we mess up, they won't know. So we just help each other along. Um, anything else you want to add? Come see our show. That's what. Have fun.
All right. So why don't you tell me your name and um, what character you play, and tell me all about your character. My name is David D'Ambrosio, and I play the role of Jack, and he is one of the younger characters in the show, and um, he is a character based from Jack and the Beanstalk. So what's uh, so people are telling me about Jack in other interviews? What um, so what's his motivation in the whole play? What is what is? Tell me more about him. He um, wants he doesn't want to sell his cow, but his mother really wants to sell the cow because he's kind of they don't have a lot of money and yeah. Okay. Is any friends with the cow? Yeah. Uh, let me see. What else? Um, so. If someone's coming to see the play for the first time, uh, what might be surprising or shocking for them, but don't give away the end of the play? I think what's really surprising is how many lessons there are, because there's not overall one lesson. There's like a bunch of different like little lessons from each scene, and yeah. So where do the lessons come from? Um, the fairy tales. Ah, so the fairy tales. And you think that someone watching it um, can relate to the lessons? Yeah. There's a, a bunch of different lessons that a lot of people can relate to. Can you give me an example of one? Like, um, in Little Red's um, scene, people um, tell her, you know, not to do things. Her mother says not to stray from the path, but she does, and she kind of finds out all the consequences of what happens. So uh, for someone, again, going back to someone who's going to see the show for the first time, what do they need to know when they're going to see the show? Um, they kind of need to know a little bit about um, fairy tales and like where they come from and stuff like that. Okay. Um, so what's the rehearsal process been like for you? It's really fun, um, not only because you get to do what you love, which is, you know, act and you know, saying and stuff like that, but you get to be with a bunch of your friends. So why did you get involved in the show? Um, I really got involved because I saw the mu the movie version of the musical last year, and I really liked what it was about and like all the lessons and stuff. So yeah. So what's been the best part of being involved in this um, for you? I think learning a lot about um, different like lessons from the story and um, getting to be with like a bunch of my friends and stuff. Good. Uh, let's see, and why did you get involved in the show? Because um, it's what makes me happy. I really like, you know, acting and singing and stuff like that. And um, so, last question. So how has drama helped you? Um, drama helped me in a big way because I got to meet a bunch of people that are my friends now. So, do you feel like you've made friends with people that you weren't friends with yeah, before? Yeah, I've met a lot of new people and I got to, you know, make friends. Why do you think those friends, friendships developed? Um, because I got to see, like, who they really were and, like, learn a lot about them. Good. Anything else you want to tell a lot of people that are... Hopefully, maybe coming to see the show. Um, come see into the woods. Once upon a time, later. Uh -huh.